An update now on the breaking news we first reported at the top of this newscast. The hazmat scare is under control at this hour. The pinpoint news tracker showing is Shawmut Avenue in New Bedford. That's where a building was evacuated about two hours ago. This is video from News Chopper 12. Several people there complained of getting sick after inhaling a chemical odor. Let's get right to Eyewitness News reporter Nika Nuosu. She's been at the scene gathering the details and joins us live with the late breaking details. Nika, what can you tell us? Well, Vince Elizabeth, we're still awaiting to hear from police on the scene here, but we can tell you that firefighters have confirmed that 12 people were transported as a result of this chemical spill. Now, the road here has been blocked off. We're about a half mile from where they say it happened. Now, we're going to show you video from News Chopper 12 just taken a few moments ago. Now, we were told that fire crews and hazmat crews arrived on scene around 1030 this morning, and they are considering this a tier three hazmat situation, meaning that dozens of hazmat specialists have responded. Now, we're told by people on the scene here that the chemical spill happened at ABC disposal, though it has not been confirmed, but we are hearing that the chemical spill happened at that waste disposal site. Now, we've also talked to employees who were evacuated. They said once they were evacuated, they did smell a strong odor on scene here, but they say that the scene has been that the crews here have handled the scene very well and everyone remains calm here. They don't know if they'll be allowed to return to work. No, those are employees who are in the area. They, have all, they were also evacuated as well as those at the site of this chemical spill. Now, we are still gathering information for you here. We'll bring you more on WPRI.com and later on Eyewitness News at 5. For now, we're live with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom here in New Bedford. I'm Nika Nwosu, Eyewitness News.